As we've seen, trying to remember everyday objects or items can be made much easier if you try and give the words meaning or construct a story around them. But trying to remember the exact words parrot fashion is much more difficult. So, if you're doing a presentation for work or a best man speech or you're taking to the stage, learning whole phrases and sentences can be extremely daunting. One trick, though, is to find the natural rhythm of the words. When the day is dawning On a Texas Sunday morning No wonder we can't get pop songs out of our head. A catchy tune and a simple chorus can stay with us for life. But when we do learn parrot fashion, our memories are easily disrupted. Just take a listen to our volunteers in this dysfunctional karaoke booth. These people are singing along to a song they think they know well. But what happens when we take away the words? Forgetting their words isn't a major problem, but if you're a professional singer, it is. Meet Aubrey. Never knew how much I love you. You never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that I just can't bear. You give me fever. Aubrey Parsons has been singing professionally since he was a teenager, building up quite a following in the pubs and clubs of South Wales. But Aubrey isn't as confident as he looks. He has a terrible memory for lyrics and relies on a tiny karaoke screen to prompt him. You'd have thought that after 20 years of singing the same song, I'd remember the lyrics, but I don't. I just, they just don't st stick in there for some reason. And his fan club boasts some famous faces, too. Hey, yo. I had a phone call a few years ago from Midge Ewer, who asked me to go up to North Wales and sing a song, which was The Boys Are Back in Town. And I kept saying, oh, have you got it? Have you sorted this? You know it? He said, yeah, yeah, I've got it. Absolutely perfect. I walked out on stage, and I couldn't remember the song. Fortunately, I'd scribbled the lyrics down on a piece of paper, and I had to pull this piece of paper out in front of me in front of thousands of people. And he's singing away, and he's like, guess who's just got back today? And he kept looking at this bit of paper. I couldn't figure it out at all, until he told me afterwards that he had a real problem uh, remembering the lyrics. These are the days of... <laughs> Aubrey's got a very good voice, so there's no reason in the world that Aubrey couldn't do it, if he can overcome his memory problem. Wouldn't be so bad if I was making this up. But as a busy family man, Aubrey doesn't get much peace and quiet to learn new songs except when he's driving to gigs. So maybe that's the problem and not his memory after all. See you later. OK, I'll right. see you later. Professor Logie visits Aubrey with a technique to help him learn more efficiently. His challenge is to memorise a new song, Bouidoy, from the musical Miss Saigon. Like all survivors, like I all, once thought. Like all survivors, I once thought. OK, once more. Like Aubrey has to repeat back each line without ever seeing it written down. Like all survivors, I once thought, when I'm home, I won't give a damn. And he has to take breaks to prevent learning fatigue. Right, back to it then, is it? Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah. Having someone to help him learn should be a more efficient way of making the words stick. And instead of being a distraction, Aubrey's family could turn out to be the secret to his success. Go on, then. Okay, um, like all survivors, I once thought, when I'm home, I won't give a damn, but now I know I'm caught. Like all survivors, I once thought, when I'm home, I won't give a damn, but now I know I'm caught. But Aubrey's memory for lyrics will never improve if he's not passionate about them. Hi, how are you? And at Cardiff Aubrey. University Hello, School of Music, opera singer Camilla Roberts helps Aubrey learn about the emotional context. This character is giving um, a speech and he's talking about you know we, we went in there into Vietnam and we helped to cause all this destruction and emotional experiences form some of our most vivid memories
so understanding the meaning of the lyrics can allow Aubrey to become passionate about them, ensuring they stick in his long-term memory. Try and convince me that it's my problem too. Yeah. We'll try that once. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> Call be die the dust of life conceived in hell and born in strife. They are the living reminder of all the good we failed to do. We can't forget. We must forget. Oh, damn. Right. Do we need to nail this bit now? Because you keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah. Billy Aubrey is so not using the lyrics um, in front of him. He's, he's not asked to see them. Uh, and so that's a really positive step forward. So it's less of a crutch. Let's not forget. For there are children too. So, with Aubrey off the book, it's his chance to fulfil a lifetime's ambition to perform on a national stage. Yeah, I always fancied uh, opening me vocal cords down here. And they don't come any bigger than Cardiff's Millennium Stadium. It's quite terrifying, really. Will Aubrey have the confidence to sing without the words in front of him? I can't believe this. It's just gone again. Nothing is sticking. Nothing. Give me the opening line again. Like all survivors, I, I once thought, thought, when I'm home, I won't give a damn. Like all survivors, I have thought, when I'm home. It's not, it's not, it's just going in and out. Small amounts of stress can improve performance, but Aubrey is painfully aware that too much can seriously disrupt his memory. It's very, very disappointing for me because I'm here, you know, and it's just not happening. Once again, the big occasion has got the better of Aubrey, but later tonight we'll see if he has mastered his learning techniques as he takes centre stage at Memory Manor. Get a free trial of the world's best scientific brain games at www.getbraingames.com.